I mean, experience is always great because it means that people are likely um, senior developers and have been trained in terms of PR, what to say, what not to say on social, have skills for stage presence, maybe they've done Toastmasters, I don't know, or they've just done a lot of conferences. So experience is great. Um, with experienced developer advocates, you have salary expectations, of course, um, and then you have the fear of getting poached because a lot of the industry luminaries, um, I've seen them jump from company to company, and I don't blame them at all because they're great at what they do and people want them. I'm not going to name names, but um, you know, so I think there's a sliding scale. I think, personally, I, I think that a young, hungry, or I should say a new to the industry, hungry um, developer advocate who really is willing to be scrappy and go the extra mile to do really great at their job is almost just as good as a very senior, like super experienced person because a lot of these skills you can pick up on the job, you know? You know, one of the things that's required to be a good developer advocate is scrappiness. You do have to be able to fill gaps. There's not always going to be a designer or an engineer or somebody with a specific function that maybe is not yours to do the last piece of everything you're going to do for that presentation tomorrow, right? Because you still don't have CEO status at the company, so you're not just going to have copywriters and ghostwriters everywhere. So you, sometimes you have, to, you have to just be willing to fill in. And I'm like that. I know a lot of, sorry, I'm like that. I know a lot of good people who are like that. Um, and, and that's almost like a necessary job function for, for being a developer. And frankly, it's easier to get lazy when you're more senior in an organization than if you're just trying to earn your stripes, right? So 